You know, I think a lot of people are sleeping on Pam Wildaro. I think she's one of the best releases of the year. I absolutely love the three little drum pieces we have. She has a great expression. The drumsticks are in a pretty cool position. Like, they're all spread out. Like she's absolutely going to town on it. I just love it, you know. It's a great release and a lot of people are just overlooking her i think like no one's really too excited to find pam wildar maybe it's because there are two in the case and people want to find Fusing racing tractor but all they can find is pam wildar i feel that i get your pain that happened to me too but anyways guys welcome back to another disney docket presentation today we'll be obviously reviewing Pam Wildaro. I got her from Case G of 2021 Singles. I unboxed that a couple weeks ago. I'll leave that link in the description below and card suggestion pop up. It was actually a really good case that's been hitting a ton of stores right now across the world. So definitely, definitely check it out so you know what you need to look for. Like Canada, Australia, United States, Europe. Case G is the case of earth right now let's get into review obviously new for 2021 here metal desert horizon background choking hazard because she comes with these three accessories of course nice little artwork there where she's got them and is pretty much I mean, she has her drumsticks in a very similar position now what i find pretty interesting is that see how thin those drumsticks are compared to her body but here they are pretty thick so obviously they couldn't you know make them you know, as accurate as, you know, and accurately thin as they were in the movie, but they still tried their best. Yeah. On the back here, as seen in Cars 3, another choking hazard. There is Pam Wildaro's stock image, so you can see. He did a pretty good job emulating that. It doesn't look too different. Maybe a little different color-wise. Seems like a darker blue, yeah, for sure a darker blue, yeah. Hot Rod Louise Nash is another new release in this case, which I'll be reviewing in a couple days. Muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, Trainer Cruz Ramirez, and Jimmy Cables. This guy was new to 2021 in Case G, but these ones were from EKC. So I'll be right back with this excellent casting all opened up. opinion has not changed in the slides it's actually empowered she looks great out of the package again one of my favorite releases of the year and there she be in the movie right next to sweet tea of course you know one of the band members along with rapper jam jones and rich hurry the slide guitar player who will be released in a couple weeks maybe a month maybe you know two months should be soon though i feel like two months max until we get rich hurry so i'm pretty excited about that now we're going to start with pam and then move our way to the accessories i think that's the fair way to do it yeah so like i said you know i love her expression you know she's smiling which a lot of people don't really see in the package and she's got a nice little eye expression there not too grainy but yeah i mean just picture i feel like she'd look like a completely different character if you remove the forklifts because then you would actually see like the mouth and the eyes in one shot without this, you know, contraption kind of obstructing that view. So it's just something to think about. I feel like it'd be pretty cool to actually do that. Uh, too bad it uses a rivet because some of the pities, like, you know, the airport pities use screws so they're easier to take out. And then you could like take this little forklift off and you almost have yourself a new character. But yeah, so here are the drumsticks. Mine has a little blemish there, that kind of stinks. They are plastic, of course. Got the little blue wheels here, a very light kind of cyan, pretty faded gray hat, which is plastic. The rest of her is metal. And then her little propane tank on the back here, as a lot of forklifts in real life do, although we haven't seen this in, you know, many. Actually, this is only the second time we've seen like a propane tank on the back of a forklift in cars. But in real life, that's very common. And then you have this additional like plastic piece on the back here, this black piece, which connects like the fenders. So uh, just kind of showing you that Mattel is trying to make these cars using the least amount of metal as possible. Yeah, so this is plastic, this is plastic, and then boom, big piece of plastic around the back. 
course, you have the base here, Disney Pixar, and her date stamp is hidden. P08A, so man, the eighth week of 2021 at the A Factory. Yeah, I do love her, though. She looks great. I'm really excited to take a look here at the accessories. So this is probably the lightest one here. It's just the... Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no, I forgot the name. Oh, my gosh. You guys know, like, the little thing that you would, like, <laughs> hit and it would make it... I don't know. <laughs> kind of like a reverberating sound. I don't know what this is called. I feel so silly and goofy right now. I'm so sorry. And you guys are going to yell at me in the comments. I mean, you guys yell at me for even other stuff. And I'm like, oh, I, I didn't even expect myself to know that. But this I should know. So, yeah, sorry about that. But, yeah, this is really cool. It seems to be two pieces. You have the gray stand and then the gold whatever dish. <laughs> whatever it is. Music dish. Yeah, it looks really neat though. And it stands well. Don't have to worry about that. Now, this is a drum. I know this is a drum. <laughs> Yay. I, I know my, my first grade vocabulary. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very nicely detailed. I'll zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, you can see like around the wooden part, you know, this is probably, you know, meant to look like wood. It looks really nice and detailed. A little gradient there on the bottom and the top it's darker in the middle it's a little bit more reddish this is a little textured here like the pad very nicely done love it and then last but definitely not least is her main drum and it shows like this kind of weathered down logo of sweet tea and the legends like her band name with tea there for tea of course like sweet tea and I love how it kind of has like that tarnished look to it as if like they've done a lot of shows before. This drum has gone through a lot. And so you have her little pedal here. So this lever would like bang on the drum. And so I guess she would use like her tire to operate that. So yeah, that's really nice. Really creative on Pixar's part. And yeah, this is super cool. Let's try and get her set up here and see how she would look. So she's got to have one of her wheels be able to touch that. So she's got to have this thing over here and then this over here and then bam, she's got the whole setup. I love it. I absolutely adore it. Now let's compare her to a couple other pities. She is the exact same model as Double Clutch Daily who I reviewed recently. I'll leave that link in the description and card suggestion as well. So yeah, these are the exact same model. But of course you have different like contraptions. Like so the forklifts are the additional plastic piece. So those are just easily switched out, you know, to change it from this to this. But yeah. Now I do like that they made the propane tanks different colors because they probably easily could have made them the same considering we don't really see them too much in the movie. I feel like they could have made Pam's black and no one really have really bad an eye. But yeah, both have those plastic hats. I like it. And just for laughs and giggles, here's a Dynaco Pity. The rest of these ones I'll show you aren't very similar at all. But then somebody in the comments will be like, why didn't you compare it to this Pity? I'll be like, I don't know. Didn't really feel like it was necessary. Emmanuel Manez, Rebel Set Rules Pity. Just trying to give you guys like an idea of the size, you know. Guido, pretty common pity. Should help you guys with the size. So she's a little bit bigger than Guido. Height wise, you know, length wise, doesn't really matter because the forklifts, they're pretty much the same. And then we have, you know, a very cool piece to compare him to or her to is this member of Uncle Topolino's band that also has the drumsticks. And now, of course, these guys all have the instruments like attached to themselves. Like as you can see here, here's the like banjo player or whatever. And we have the accordion guy, tuba, and then the drummer here. So he's got wrapped around himself. He's not as cool as Pam to have a whole set, you know, but he does have the little soft tips on his forklifts there so he can, you know, make some good noise. Pretty similar to Pam in that sense. So yeah, very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I should compare her to Robert Jam Jones a little bit, even though they are entirely different pity models, but they you know, are in the same band. I love how like different Uncle Topolino's band is. 
from these guys like here you have the, like the guitar player and then you have the drum player and these are so vibrant like pastel colors and then over here you have like the most drab dark colors i don't know i guess i feel like it kind of matches thomasville i don't know that like it was never really sunny i guess when they were training it was sunny in thomasville but when they got there especially it just seemed so like dull and drab like overcast and everything but anyway i'm probably just reading too much into it thank you guys very much for watching this video let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite band member so far your sweet tea robert jam jones and pam wheeldero mine is pam just love her drum set and her expression. I will catch you guys soon for another video. Bye now.